Hi everyone. Um, I was gonna talk about I was gonna talk about uh, something aside from. Well, today is Sunday, July the what's the day? Fourteenth, and um. Has I even talked about anything for a while? Um, anything specific? Anything, again, Power Ranger related I need to talk about? Oh yeah, um... You want to know what my thoughts are about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot movie coming out this fall? By, um... MMPR or something something or was it just MMPR um Okay, let's see. My first thought, when I first saw a uh, teaser trailer for this MMPR fan film, which obviously is a mighty, a dark, a Dark Knight-esque uh, reboot of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um... My thoughts about it exactly... Well, when I first saw the teaser trailer... And when I saw someone holding Lord Zed's staff um, in the teaser, um, me and Anthony, we didn't like it at first. Because I thought somebody was trying to go Dark Knight, because of course this is exactly what the filmmakers were going. With the idea of making a Power Rangers fan film Re or reboot movie look like something out of the Dark Knight trilogy. Um. Yeah, and of course Anthony, well, using this channel, he did go to MMPR Films' his channel and uh, subscribe to them, but he had mixed feelings about what the project was going to be like. I thought this was going to be some re some very dark reinvention of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Well, actually, it is. Because we we both saw the trailer. Me and Anthony both sat here on our butts and saw the trailer and realized that they really are they really are doing a Power Rangers reboot movie. I don't mean well well because you know a lot of people have been wondering what 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 a dark reboot movie of Power Rangers will be like, but unfortunately we never had one. But luckily, M &P, the MPR fan film will be. Well, even though fan films are you know unexistent, but this is pretty much will be um, existent actually. But this fan film pretty much. Uh, will take the cake. But by the time but by the time when we saw the second teaser trailer which featured Rob Robert Axelrod's actual voice of Lord Zed, I'm starting to think that this is going to be pretty good. But however, when I first saw the but however, when I first saw the teaser trailer, the first teaser trailer for MMPR, I didn't like it because I thought I was not going to like the film. Because me and Anthony are both doing a Power Rangers Lost Galaxy fan film, which you guys are, of course, subscribing to. But I'm going to have to give credit to the guys that's doing MMPR. If they're going to do this, well, I know, I know this is something that we're all, you know, supposed to, you know, um, well, there's no other ways I can say about this, but, um, I hope this will be way better than the first uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie that we had 18 years ago. You know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. 
18 years later, that movie is just, uh, well, of course, the first Power Rangers movie will still be part of certain pe certain fans' childhood hearts, childhoods at heart, but whereas, as you look at it 18 years later, if you're grown up now, the movie's not in the MMPR film, I heard that Jason David Frank, who played Tommy, the original Green Power Ranger and White Ranger, the original Green and White Power Rangers, Zero Ranger Five Red and Red Turbo One and Down in Thunder Black, is probably is actually going to make an appearance in the fan film. How are they getting these actors? I mean, usually most fan films uh, like this, you usually have real people that want to get into acting to be these characters. Usually, most fan films don't even use Hollywood actors from TV and film to be in fan films. Well, of course, with the exception of our Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film, we got, of course, facial likenesses of celebrities to be the Power Rangers, well, in Anthony's movie, but whereas in MNPR's film, it's new actors mixed with three or four actors from the, uh, the original series produced by Saban. Um, Jason David Frank, Robert Axelrod, and David Fielding. Wait a minute, I thought David Fielding, who was the voice of Zordon, was dead. No, actually, it was Bob Monahan, or Robert Monahan, that died. Not David Fielding. And also, what also dawned on me that the, 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 wanted to go see this fan film of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that's coming out this fall. Um, the Blue Ranger is a female this time, and rather than be having the red one being the leader. Actually, this sounds pretty good. Having the Blue Ranger as a female leading the team, now that, sounds, now that, that sounds awesome. I wish we had a pink, well, I wish we had a, well, a Blue Ranger in our movie that would lead the team, but actually I have to lead the team because I'm red, I'm the Red Ranger. Um... Yeah, this time in their team of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the, there is three female Power Rangers this time rather than having usually two and three and two males in the team. Well, I'm guessing it was about time we had female three females and two males in the team for a change instead of having usually three males every season, or often some or. It, in case in the Disney seasons like Ninja Storm and Down and Thunder, four males and um, and one female, but in most of all the seasons, three males and two three males and two females. My reaction, well, actually, my reaction to uh, Lord Zed's is my reaction to Lord Zed's new look in the film. Um. How do I put it? His re my reaction to him, the way how he looks, he looks like he looks like to me he looks like the Red Skull meets uh the Red Skull from Ca from the Captain America me movie meets the Hobgoblin from the Spider-Man comics, but his face is red because Lord Zed, of course, is red with silver, you know, exoskeletal parts. Um. Are they keeping Lord Zed's um, fa actual face from the TV show mixed with his organic form? Because I I kept seeing that same old poster that I've seen on MMPR's MMPR Films' Facebook page, um, displaying an image of Lord Zed's organic form, organic demonic form. And is what is Zordon going to look like in the reboot movie? By the way. Is it going to look exactly like from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie we had 18 years ago, or the TV show, either from Mighty Morphin Seasons 1 to 3, Zeo, or Turbo, either one? Um, actually, I think they're going to, I don't know yet, because I the fan, the fan film doesn't come out until, I guess, September or October, or probably around the time when Power Rangers Megaforce resumes, uh, resumes uh, airing new episodes of Nickelodeon or something, I, I don't know.
And if this is a Power Rangers fan film, will there also be Megazord battles? Well, that's that's oblivious for me to ask. Well, since the fan film should have been called actually Project Ranger, but it actually would have been called Mighty Morphin Project Rangers, because I hear the word Project, Ra Project Ranger written all over this movie uh, coming up. And uh, what is the Megazord going to look like? I know what the Morphers look like, and I know what the suits look like, via concept art on their Facebook page, but, um, what is their Megazord going to look like? I'm guessing they're not going to use a Megazord because maybe, they... well, of course, every battle at the end of each episode of Power Rangers requires a Megazord battle against a monster, of course, but I don't think they're going to do a Megazord battle. I don't even know what their Megazord is going to look like, or they're not going to include one. And of course, the fan film of MMPR, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2013, or M Mighty Morphin Project Rangers, is set years after the original, after what happened at the, probably at the end of the series, before, you know, which kickstarted to Zeo. But if, but if Lord Zed is back, but if Lord Zed is back, wouldn't it be set years after Power Rangers in space? Because Lord Zed and them, and whoever who and er, anyone who was part of the United of Lions of Evil, were washed away by Zordon's energy wave. So how did? I mean, how is that possible? I mean, of course, Lord Zed is one of the greatest you know villains in Power Rangers infamy, and one of the greatest villains of the show's history of all time. But seriously. Any other villains from MMPR that should... Any other villains from the Mighty Morphin series that should return, like Goldar? No. Actually, actually, I think they're only going to keep Lord Zed. Because Lord Zed is awesome. He, w he is badass. So I don't think there is no need to bring back any of the other villains from the original Mighty Morphin series, like Rita. Because, well, I, I hated Rita. Well, after watching reruns of all three seasons of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and then seasons following it, like Zeo to In Space, because even though Zen and Rita were absent during Turbo, because, well, uh, reason why I hate Rita, she's annoying. Every time when the Rangers defeat her monsters per episode, she always gets headaches. Of course, well, that was via season one. But it's just, uh, I never really liked it, Rita. Not, not even on her min minions like Squat and Babu, for example. However, I did enjoy, however, I do, do like Goldar and Scorpina, by the way. Are there any plans to reintroduce Goldar and Scorpina in this new series? Maybe not. Or Rita Revolta? Uh, hell, he was so annoying. Or Master Vile, Rita's his father. Um... No, thank you. Um, will there be an alpha robot in the reboot? Because I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that. Because last time we had an alpha robot chronologically in the series was obviously Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Since we're, well, of course, our fan film of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy will have an alpha robot. I'm not sure if we want our alpha robot to be voiced by a guy or a girl. Because, of course, in... Power Rangers and Space and Lost Galaxy Alpha was voiced by a voice actress who was obviously Scorpinus' voice actress from season one. Um, what will the command center look like? Who knows? So I guess this pretty much concludes my thoughts on, on MMPR. Um... Please comment and tell me what you think of the reboot because I know this is the most hyped about Power Rangers reboot movie, uh, which is obviously a fan film. And I hope this pretty much will be way better than the first Power Rangers movie. I'm not talking about Turbo because Turbo was part of the show's continuity. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, was not. 
because, well, despite the high budget that they used back in when they were filming in Australia back in like late 1994, early 1995, well, I'm guessing this Power Rangers movie would be way better than the first.